something almost miraculous takes place on the eighth day of Pesach. In some ways, it's the antidote to what happened on the seventh day of Pesach. On the seventh day of Pesach, we commemorate the crossing of the Red Sea, that miracle when the sea parted. That's the way it's depicted in the movie. But you should know, according to the Medrash, the sea parted into 12 different lanes, each separate for each tribe of Israel. We've gone our own separate ways ever since. Philip Roth writes, why couldn't the Jews be one people? Why must Jews be in conflict with one another? Why must they be in conflict with themselves? Because divisiveness is not just between Jew and Jew, it is within the individual Jew. Is there a more manifold personality in all the world? I don't say divided. Divided is nothing. But inside every Jew there is a mob of Jews. The good Jew, the bad Jew, the new Jew, the old Jew, the lover of Jews, the hater of Jews, the friend of the guy, the enemy of the guy, the arrogant Jew, the wounded Jew, the pious Jew, the rascal Jew, the coarse Jew, the gentle Jew, the defiant Jew, the rascal Jew, the coarse Jew, the gentle Jew, the defiant Jew, the appeasing Jew, the Jewish Jew, the de Jew Jew. That's a lot of division amongst our people. Not on the eighth day of Pesach. And let me explain. There are many observing Jews who throughout Pesach have not eaten any matzah product that comes in contact with water. In Yiddish it's called gabrux, broken matzah. They won't put any matzah or matzah meal into water because there's some slight, 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 slight concern that there might be some little flour that wasn't completely baked and that that will turn into chametz. Most Jews don't take this very seriously, and the truth is Jewish law itself doesn't take it very seriously. But a lot of Jews, Hasidic Jews, do, and you'll even see certain hotels advertise we serve non gebrucks But on the eighth day of Pesach, those Jews who for seven days have not eaten gabrux, go out of their way to make a knadle and put it in soup, something gabrux, as if to say to their fellow Jews, for seven days we didn't see eye to eye, but today, today we're telling you, we are right, but you are not wrong. Now just imagine if Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives, diaspora Jews and Israel Jews, just imagine if all of us would say to each other, I'm right, but you're not wrong. That would really be a good yontif.